We've, we've, we've put an end to the issue of political monstrosity. Uh, this is a clear case of the venom of a viper can do nothing to the back of a tortoise. It is not all about being licentious, braggadocious, loquacious. No, this action speaks louder than words. And this will serve as a lesson to future godfathers that Nigerians are sick and tired of godfatherism in this country. Whether you assisted somebody to ascend a particular height, to achieve a particular height or not, to attain any height in this world, that person will appreciate what you have done for him. But that does not mean or give you the right to go and sleep with the person's wife, so to speak. And that is the problem with godfatherism in this country. To my chagrin, the FCT minister, Jason Wiki, was the same person who said, as a sitting governor then, and I have the tip, that what happened in Lagos State in the case of Ambody will never happen in River State. We are talking of the issue of godfatherism, which I call pestilence of godfatherism. He said it was never going to happen in River State, and that he is one man that will never impose a governor or dictate to his successor what to do. That once he's out, if God blesses him and he sounds out his tenor, he will go and rest. That was what he said. So, guys, this is an ex advisor to Wiki. Guess what? He said they've ended the issue of godfatherism in River State. This man is celebrating Fubara's win. He has dumped Wiki and is happy that they've destroyed the stronghold of godfatherism in this state. You need to listen to him speak in this interview. You won't believe he's someone who once worked with Wiki. I mean, almost every river person who understands what Wiki has been doing is not happy with Wiki. I mean, people are not happy with all that Wiki did, even against Hubara and against the reverse people. Take your time, watch this interview and get to understand that even those who were very close to Wiki are now saying no more to Wiki. Take a look. And to the issue of political monstrosity, uh, this is a clear case of the venom of a viper can do nothing to the back of a tortoise. It is not all about being licentious, braggadocious, loquacious. No, this action speaks louder than words. And this will serve as a lesson to future godfathers that Nigerians are sick and tired of godfatherism in this country. Whether you assisted somebody to ascend a particular height, to achieve a particular height or not, to attain any height in this world, that person will appreciate what you have done for him. But that does not mean or give you the right to go and sleep with the person's wife, so to speak. And that is the problem with godfatherism in this country. To my chagrin, the FCT minister, Jason Wiki, was the same person who said, as a sitting governor then, and I have the tip, that what happened in Lagos State in the case of Ambody will never happen in River State. We are talking of the issue of godfatherism, which I call pestilence of godfatherism. He said it was never going to happen in River State, and that he is one man that will never impose a governor or dictate to his successor what to do. That once he's out, if God blesses him and he sounds out his tenor, he will go and rest. That was what he said. And again, during the Thanksgiving or reception, so to speak, after he left, shortly after he left office, organized right. by the state governor, at the okay. of the governor of the say for Barat, he said there that anybody who makes that mistake to look at him as a small boy, that that person is doing so at his own peril. He said so. And that the heavens and the earth are definitely with sin. I am, uh, that's why I said uh, it was to my chagrin. I am a little bit surprised that the same person who gave all these warnings, who is seized of all these facts, is the same person who wants to impose the issue of godfatherism in River State. All right. And okay. We all, human beings revolt at tyranny. And okay. everybody said, no, it is not possible. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for that. Now, I don't know what you think, but... Two wrongs don't make it right. I'd like you to give us your yes. assessment of the elections over the weekend. Would you classify it as being free, fair, credible in terms of the way that people voted? Because I know, yes, the people are coming out to speak against Godfatherism, and we speak against Godfatherism. However, what we've been talking about is having strong institutions and a democracy that works. Is that what played out over the weekend? Oh, definitely. You know, reverse people desiderated for... Uh, democracy. And in fact, that is one major reason why uh, one reason why the governor of River State is having the support, the organic support is having. Because we believe in democracy. And so, when we had that court order, 
instructing the police not to provide services during the election. We laughed, as reckless as it is. But it is obvious that the judge, I'm very sorry to say, was a conflicted old fellow. He is. Otherwise, we all know that a court cannot stop an election. If we go by the Electoral Act 8415, he cannot stop an election. So what did the judge do? All he did was to instruct the police not to render services, in order not to maintain law and order. Believing that there might be some crisis in the state that might lead to death or one thing or the other, and the state of emergency will be declared. We have a Supreme Court judgment that gave three months to state governors to conduct local government elections. Anybody who fails to do so will not be, any state which fails to do so will not be eligible for our local government allocations. So the whole essence was to frustrate the whole process, I'm talking about local government election process, so that at the end of the October, the time given by the Supreme Court, by which time October 30th, or is it 31st or 30th, that the month will end, by the infliction of time, 12 midnight, October 30th or 31st, the state will no longer be eligible to have local government elections and uh, allocations. And you know that what that will lead to. It will accumulate a crisis in the local government because there will be frustration in the local government, which will lead to disorder in the state. That was the whole plan. And that's why they say, oh no, the police don't go and secure. Because the court cannot interdict the conduct, the conduct of local government elections going by the Electoral Act. The court cannot. So okay. police don't, so that there will be crisis. Okay. Okay. But we thank God. It was a crisis free. Okay. No hitches, nothing. Okay. The, rivers, the rivers electorate, the people of rivers, they conducted themselves in a very civilized manner. Okay, Mr. Gutari. And this is a shame to the police and the Spirit General of Police. Okay, Mr. Who, that we do is the services of the police. Mr. It's Gutari. a shame that without the police, we conducted a very peaceful election, the Mr. most peaceful Gutari. election Gutari. in River State. Without the police. Mr. Yes, Gutari, Rufa, I can hear you, but let me finish. Go ahead. Yes. Okay. Come very well. I can hear you very well, Rufa. Please, can you tell me how the APT won all, most all the seats in the state. I mean, I don't understand. A party that was just yes. cobbled together about a week or two ago won all the seats, almost all the local government seats. Can you, it doesn't make sense to me. Is this democracy? Uh, okay, uh, uh, in fact, yes, Rufai, uh, honestly speaking, I, I am also in quandary. I think uh, after this interview, I'm going to reach out to the Chairman of the APP. I don't even know him, funny enough. I don't even know the chairman of the APP. And I think uh, it's a slight on the part of the governor that uh, a sitting governor, a member of the PDP, lost even in his own ward. Lost even in his own unit. It, 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 it's, 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 it's pathetic that we have that kind of, we had that kind of situation. But that is what it is. That is what the CIEC has said. That is stated by a letter commission. So, uh, like so, I told so, you, so, so this, so this norm now that so one political I, I party. So I deliberately asked you that question because it's a trick question. So this norm now that one yeah, political I know, party I know, I know. affiliated to the governor will win everything. And you people are complaining about Wiki. Is this not worse than Wiki? Is it affiliated to the governor? Rufa, really? The the so who, who, who is the party affiliated to? You don't even know the no, chairman of the party. I'm now. It's affiliated to the governor. It's affiliated to the governor. Know. That's the governor's political tool. Are you serious? Yes. Oh, you are just telling me now. I don't really? know. You're just me now. Oh, that's it, right? Oh yeah. Oh, oh really? Oh my oh, goodness. No. Oh, oh yeah. So you oh, people my too. Good Lord. You oh, people man. too have become hegemons, mm. like you are blaming Wiki for. Isn't it? Isn't it? No. Really? That is wrong. Why? That is wrong. Why? Because yes, that is wrong. Yes, tell I'll me. tell you. I'll tell you why. Like as I speak, like as I speak, I told you I don't even know the chairman of the party. And you are the one telling me now that the party is affiliated to the governor of River State. I have to do my investigations and my findings before I can speak on that. You are the one just telling me that now. Uh, it was quick to swear them in 24 hours after the election, that, and they have no affiliation to him, right? That is the prerogative of the government when to swear in the local government. I, I, I don't know so Today they are swearing to fire. We'll say today they are swearing in uh, the commissioner nominees. Today, today they are going to swear okay. commissioner nominees. Uncle Taria. So what is wrong with that? <laughs> Uncle Taria. Uncle Taria. Very quickly. Yes. Now, yes, Doc. Doc, I can yeah, hear you. Some newspapers are reporting today that the uh, supporters of Minister Wiki are heading to the courts to declare what happened uh, on October 5, last Saturday, as illegal and unacceptable. Uh, is your mm. camp uh, worried about that? That uh, this matter is not over. The triumphalism... Uh, that we saw yesterday, our government house that is swearing in, uh, maybe, maybe abbreviated. 
but the reality that the outcome may be contested in the courts. Are you worried about that? Because uh, case, any doc, election doc, process doc, doc. is not over I, until it is tested in the courts. That has been our experience in Nigeria, isn't it? Doc, I don't think anybody should be distraught. Because at the end of the day, at the end of every process, it will be subjected to the clinical progresses of the legal lab from the tribunal to the Supreme Court. It's normal. Even the issue of the validity of the House of Assembly members, I think it's now before the Supreme Court. So nobody should be bothered about that. What we are worried is the issue of crisis. Some people were apprehensive that certain persons might incite crisis, stimulate crisis in the state, and we didn't see that. If you want to ventilate your views, your grievances in court, of course you have the right to so do, and it is welcome. That's a civilized way to approach issues, very civilized way. So if anybody wants to go to court, fine. You go to court, from high court to Supreme Court. And whatever the court, the Supreme Court says it is, is what it is. And there's no problem. After all, we've seen situations where Supreme Court will, give, will remove a governor after eight months. And you only grumble. There's nothing you can do. Your hands are fettered. There's nothing you can do. It happens. In the issue of Vivian years of Wiki, he lost at the tribunal, lost at the uh, Court of Appeal, and won at Supreme Court. The issue of uh, what is the Demo State Governor, we all knew what happened. We all seized of those facts. So if you're going to court, why not? That's a welcome development. You can go to court. But what anybody will frown on is the issue of crisis. That's all. But you are free to go to court. When you say crisis, do you mean like the outbreak of violence post election? Yes, outbreak of violence. Outbreak of violence during, before, during, and after the elections. All right. Okay, so you said there was no violence, but we hear reports of gunshots being heard. Um, the APC secretariat, uh, there was a bomb scare there. I'd like you to throw more light on that. And also, in terms of voter turnout, where people, the few people feel safe enough to come out, there were also reports that in some centers, there was manual uh, voting when it ought to have been electronic. But people voted manually. In some centers, some result sheets were in present. Did this happen in the elections over the weekend? Well, I'm just hearing this for the first time. But even at that, let us assume without conceding that these things you mentioned happened. Even at the uh, national election, during the, uh, the government of the presidential elections, we also went happened. We also the manual. When some said even the was, it called, was not even working, the electronic was not working, there was even a situation where they said, in fact, the IRF could not work. The IRF that worked for national assembly member did not work for the presidential during the presidential election. We also had some sort of controversies and so on. But so, so that, if, so, assuming we yes. are considering that those things happen in River State, fine. Then we talk of the turnout of voters. Well, I didn't visit all the polling units to know. But I can tell you that we had the last turnout in Asaga. Yes, very last turnout in Asaga. And even in Akuruga, I can speak. I can speak. Even in Delga. I can't talk of Potakot. I can't talk of uh, uh, Ahoda because I didn't visit those places. All right. But uh, if you talk of Asaga, that's yes. the local government. We had last turnout. I hear you when you even say in that. Even Akuruga, last turnout. Okay. Because we all, we all collaborate. Hmm. I hear you when you say that, oh, is that a justification that because it happened in other places, so we should just ignore it? Because what we're looking to do is to prosecute even better run elections. I'm just speaking for the people of River State because at the end of the day, elections should be about people and not one person, either whether a godfather or the city, hijacking the process. That's what we're speaking for this morning. So does that justify the fact that it's done in other places? Does that justify that happening in the state and the elections over the weekend? Sorry, you're talking of the malfunction? Yes, the malfunction. And the, malfunction? the malfunction, the result sheet, some of those things I mentioned that you said that even though you hadn't heard about it, but even in the events that it happened, no, 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 it happened no, no, in other no, places. No, but no, it's not, no, no, that, no, 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 please don't misunderstand me. What I'm saying is these are errors that could happen, even when you have the best of machines. After all, we, we saw it today where Jonathan, our uh, former president, President Gula Jonathan, Ruben Abati's boss, went to vote and he had to wait for about is it an hour or there about to stand to be corrected when the machine malfunctioned. So these are things that could happen. That does not mean we're going to stop the election when there's an alternative. That's the point I'm making. And while we work on improving, we have to improve on our machines. That does, I'm, not saying, I'm not justifying it, but I say these are things that could just happen. We are, even human beings, you get up in the morning at times you feel strong, and by the time before you walk to your car, you find out that you're, having, you're feeling dizzy, you have this headache or something. There's nothing you can do about okay. it. But, but what about so the... I'm not trying to just, what I'm telling you, these things can just happen. Mr. Ankataria, Mr. Ankataria, so what about the... Because the self chairman said he was prepared, yes. Okay, so but what, what about the build of the APC that was touched, you know, by uh, an explosive? That's number one. Secondly... Uh, I would also like to ask, now the center of gravity of the fight has added one more political party, which is the APP now. 
We're hearing stories that even within the APP, one faction came out all of a sudden and said they are not in support of uh, the APC being, APP being used by a tool by the government. I mean, what do you have to say about all of this? Because it's just many dynamics in the Well, first and foremost, you def I mean, f exactly, you know. Uh, first of all, like when you said the APP, like I said, I'm even yet to know the chairman of the APP on a very serious note. And I'm just hearing this for the first time that you're even having a faction in APP. But if tomorrow I have to be on this station, I, would, I definitely would do my research and tell you the facts. If some persons are saying no, this is politics. It's only, politics is a concentric circle of uh, conspiracies and articulated interests. If certain persons are saying no, that uh, we are not part of this, well, they have their reasons. Now, substantiate those reasons and let us look at the sense and the reasonableness in what you're saying. Is the reason more than money? That's what we have to look at. Is the reason more than money? Because God knows how much oh, money has been oh, poured oh, into oh, the party. Rufa, there's Rufa, there's, Rufa, there's Rufa, a lot of chop chop now. You really there's Rufa, a lot of chop chop. Hey, Dada, you really don't understand the politics, of, the politics of the country and even River State. Yeah. So if those persons we are not, if, if those persons are protesting because they were not given money, well, they should come out to say, they should be bold enough to say, wait, we are not giving money because we are, I mean, we are protesting because we are sidelined. So is that justifiable? That's the question. The conundrum there is, is that justifiable? If 90% of the APA, is it, a, uh, is it AP, APP? You don't even know the party APA, your, your governor, the Fumari are supporting is using. You don't even know the party. You politicians. Because, are... like I told you, I am not working with the governor. So I don't need to know. I don't need to know. I'm not working with the governor. You don't support him over weekend? That's the truth about it. You don't support him over weekend? In this fight between I, him and weekend, I, who do I, you stand I with? I support his fight. I fought, wait, listen. I support his fight against Godfatherism. Yes. And that is not because it's Governor Fumara. It could be any other person. I support his fight against Godfatherism. And I say to you tomorrow. I support against Godfatherism. I don't have, no, it's not as if I have any personal relationship. No, that's not what I'm saying. Okay. The fight against Godfather, I support you tomorrow. Okay. And if tomorrow, if tomorrow Governor Sin Fumara be, wants to be a Godfather to another person, we will all fight against him. Okay, Okunaba in oh, yes. Thank you very much. But before you go, yes. Governor Fumara, having made the point that desperate situations require desperate measures, told the newly elected local government chairman that they should defend the interests of the people of River State. Do you think they will do that or that now that local councils are going to enjoy the benefits of uh, financial autonomy, they will be focused on something else? Where would the control be? Because just as uh, the APP swept the polls in the local government elections in your state, also in Akwaibom, the uh, PDP swept all the polls. In fact, it was 34 <laughs> over 34 in uh, Akwaibom. In Anambara, it is also the same thing. Okay. So, uh, Abga dominating also in Anambara. So, you know, is there any hope for the people that the local councils are to serve in this regard? You know, beyond River State. Just general question. Well, I think we have to revisit our local government laws, especially with respect to the, the tenure and, uh, of the local government chairman and the way they can be removed. I don't believe the, the state House assembly should be responsible for removing our local government chairman and so on. No. Let the councillors do that. And so we have to stipulate procedures, spell out procedural obligations on how to do it, so that if a local government chairman is not alive to accessibility, those in the local government will know, and they will know how best to remove it. They should be in the best position to know if a local government chairman is alive to be or not, and not just the House of Assembly or a governor of a state who want the man to be a puppet, a pawn, who direct him every month give A to this, every month give B to this. No, that's not what we want. Let the local government councillors be responsible for the removal of a local government chairman, for his impeachment and subsequent removal of a local government chairman. That is my take on that. So I think we have to revise the local government council laws. So, guys, these are some of the things that we keep saying. Honestly, it's good that this incident that happened in River State actually happened because it's an eye opener to Nigerians, to many politicians. They get to learn and learn the hard way. Now, it is clear and it's obvious that, you know, Godfatherism is not everything. It's not because somebody put you in office, then you want to service the person all your four or eight years. You want to spend the state's money. You want to make sure you obey him. You listen to him. You cannot dictate what you want to do. He tells you what to do and what not to do. Guess what? The Rivers people have destroyed that stronghold of Godfatherism and they are celebrating their win over Wiki. I mean, this is an ex- advisor, a former commissioner under Wiki's administration as governor. He has not come out
out, he has now come out to talk against Wiki and all that Wiki did. Everybody knows that Wiki went overboard. Wiki went overboard the way he handled Fubara. And get, guess what? He received a bad boost. As in the thing backlashed and now he's suffering it. He has not come out to speak since after the election that happened last weekend in Rivers. Possibly he's still trying to recover from his shock. So guys, you have heard it from this man. This is somebody who was very close to Wiki. But you've seen what he has said because guess what we can think rivers is still the rivers he used to know he doesn't know that nigerians are yearning for change both at state level federal level call it any level people want change people want things to be better can you imagine that uh, we can spend eight years without paying pensions pensioners without paying this our grand and um, grandmas and grandpas who have served the state and needed their pension he didn't pay them he was busy uh, building flyovers and he boldly came out on the telly and say hey, people are criticizing him that he's not paying pension that he's rather building flyover that if the flyover is making them angry they should be angry so you can imagine such a person he has a father but he couldn't pay other people's father he couldn't pay other people's mother people who have served the state so when you look at the kind of leaders that we have in this country you just know that this country still has a long way to go because the kind of mentality they have the way they think the way they reason you get to know that oh we've lost it as a country because this same week is wanting to become president week believes one day he's going to be the president of nigeria and see the kind of person he is See the kind of domineering spirit that is in Wiki. Wiki will tell you nobody can come out and challenge him. Nobody can talk when he talks. Or you put head now. He will just be saying, using all kinds of languages in a public domain without any fear or favor. And you know that the police, the security agents, they, don't, they are afraid of Wiki. They cannot dare to arrest him or bring him in for questioning. Wiki will say all kinds of things. Last time he even said that those who are coming to his state to maybe to make Fubara not to listen to him, that they should expect fire in their own state. Meaning that he's going to... He showed that uh, uh, Wiki overdid it. He overdid it. He went beyond his limit. Somebody was just saying that if it were to be Wiki that was in Fubara's position, lives would have gone. You will hear that people have gone missing. Because this man is ready to do the undoable. You would have heard that, you know, this person slept and didn't wake up. This person is not dead. As in... You'll be looking for people. But Fubara had patience, waiting and thinking that Wiki would change his mind the way he was going. But Wiki toughened up. Wiki became, uh, 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 his heart became uh, rocky. And see where it has landed him now. Possibly it's only his mother and his father that, is going, that are going to stand by him. Because majority of the Rivers people are away from Wiki. They've distanced themselves. They are now with Fubara. And I think there's a big lesson that Wiki really will have to learn. So, guys, that is it. Let me know what you think in this video. You have heard what an advisor, a former advisor of Wiki, you know, have come out to see on the telly. And honestly, it is mind-blowing. It is mind-blowing. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell. Please give this video a like so that YouTube can recommend it to others. And drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you.